सो डे स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस जॉफी चौसर एंड एज ऑफ चौसर एज वेल एज हिस्टोरिकल बैकग्राउंड एंड करेक्टरिस्टिक इन द एज ऑफ जॉफी चौसर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वील डिस्कस हिस्टोरिकल बैकग्राउंड ऑफ दिस एज द पीरियड बिटवीन थर्टीन फोर्टी थ्री एंड फोर्टीन फिफ्टी इज नॉन एज द एज ऑफ चौसर इट मार्क द फर्स्ट सिग्निफिकेंट लिटरेरी एज इन इंग्लिश लिटरेचर Chaucer's age also witnessed many social, political, and religious challenges. Keep in your mind, he is going to start that uh, the specific period from thirteen forty three to fourteen fifty is known as the age of Chaucer. So now, just you may imagine that this particular era is being mentioned with the name of Chaucer. Uh, so now uh, you can uh, guess that how much remarkable this era is uh, there was a strong dislike for the uh, papal or church interference which had previously been the uh, cardinal of moral authority social prestige but now suffered from corruption and superstitions and keep in mind that this era is basically a religious era because christianity was there and uh, the prominent figure is being dealt here uh, within the joffrey chaucer and joffrey chaucer has wrote a very uh, has written very fundamental aspect on the corruption of church because uh, christianity was there and they have specifically write down the things of christianity as well as the role of uh, their uh, religious aspect and there was a lot of corruption in church as well as administrative rules are concerned as well as religious aspects are concerned there was a, a big corruption in that era within a church that is a fundamental a key aspect of this age uh, there were strong uh, nationalistic uh, passions due to the 100 years war between england and france because i have earlier uh, mentioned that this age is very prominent and joffrey chaucer has also mentioned the 100 year war between england and france there was also uh, the charged atmosphere due to the uh, peasant affairs in england the middle class also emerged as a strong social uh, stereotype all of this represented a transition from feudal social setup toward a free society where men and women uh, could exercise their individual whims and uh, fancies without fear of a rent permit yes uh, because uh, in this era there were uh, as i have said that the religious things were there but corruption was also there but the freedom of men and women was not there so joffrey chaucer has a light down the thing on the freedom of men and uh, women there is a transition from the age of medievalism to the age of modernism there is a, a you can say travel uh, they have traveled toward medievalism to the modernism joffrey chaucer was the night star of the former and the morning sun of the latter that is a prominent uh, line of uh, joffrey chaucer that joffrey chaucer was the night star of the former and the morning sun of the latter Uh, another significant event of this page was the black death and the uh, plague that affected of a third of the country's population this affected various social dynamics like limiting labor and uh, employable bodies there was some sort of disease as it is in our era that corona is there same is the case there that was black death was there and the lots of bodies were being dead and they have faced uh financial issues as well as liberal issues because uh many numbers of you can say that men and women were died due to that particular black death and keep in your mind that history reveals and history rewinds himself as well as corona is concerned this is not a you can say a new disease this is a like the old one and now it is being represented within a new features uh within a new you can say symptoms etc etc black death was there some sort of disease uh, people were dying due to that one yes 
basically that skin skin disease was there uh, people were suffering from that particular so now uh, we are going to discuss characteristic of this particular age here are the main characteristic of the uh, period first of all a language we are going to discuss language the age saw the emergence of the standard english language this was the single biggest development of the age as english had previously been heavily curbed by the influence of french and latin language was major language was english being represented by geoffrey chaucer before this age latin and french was there as you have discussed the norman age as you have discussed the anglo saxon age they were not proper dealing with the english but the geoffrey chaucer was the very first man who has introduced the english language in this age and the uh, Uh, the common example from the daily life accounts of the blooming uh, garden in spring to unique human characteristics the language glorified themes of beauty vitality and the secular sentiment yes through language geoffrey chaucer has represented three things number one beauty is there and the vitality and the secular sentiment of the society uh, basically he has point he has you can say light down the things that how the society is dealing with the beauty of things um, basically the beauty of women beauty of joy beauty of glory beauty of the thing that as as it is being concerned in this age we are saying that beauty is just for the sake of uh, you can say lust as well as sex but not like that in that age because uh, geoffrey chaucer has said that you have to pawn down on the internal things as well as soul is concerned as well as love is concerned you have to majorize the two things this is the beauty that how you are going to compare within a love within a lust and as well as sex so the second is cursity and the criticism these are second one and the both are being comparized in a one thing the age is known uh, for its uh, sketching criticism of the established order and religion church control over temporal affair of common men and was challenged during the period uh, there is a renewed interest in the common man's affair there is a theme of a uh, direction of romance especially by the chaucer the drama take prominent state the dominance of historical fables and the romance of medieval age was switched for the humanist themes yes criticism was there and criticism was just for the sake of rights of women as well as men and the specific thing was there criticism was being done that why you have handed over the things of church within a common man because in this age uh, uh, christianity is there and their role model is church as we are the muslim and we go for the prayers in the mosque and they are the christian and they go for their prayers to the church and they are going to criticize the role of church that how a common man is dealing with that particular aspect because uh, as we are concerned we we are going to say that uh, this particular and typical mullahs are there and they are spoiling the society we should have the authentic ulamas there who can uh, survive from this uh, fitna bazi etc etc same is the case there that jofri chaucer is saying that at one end you are saying that you are dealing with the church on the other hand uh, you are going for corruption this is not a good thing and he has criticized and other writers are concerned in that age and a new thing is given by the geoffrey chaucer because when in in your class you says that uh, this uh, cr is not going to deal with the justification of class then you will raise the voice that you will say a uh, change the cr we are not satisfied with the role of cr same is the case with the geoffrey chaucer he is saying that uh, they have criticized and they have challenged uh, the role of uh church that how they are dealing with that particular aspect the next one is prose characteristic is the next one is prose the english prose had its beginning in this age due to the ripening of the language the prose could now be uh, experimented with the uh, um, biblical translation of john uh, wickliff is an example of it the prose writing is both original and individual there are experimental works like that the uh, thomas meller king author and also a desire to shed the grip of latin as seen in the demand of of an english bible 
the formation of allegory was refined in this period there was a return of alliteration which had been replaced in the realms in the middle age uh, the prominent prose writer of chaucer age was chaucer john of teversia and john wycliffe there is also great influence of scottish work like barber yes prose was being uh, started as yesterday we have discussed in the age of pope that prose was also there but the thing is that you have to study how these things are going to be comparized in this frame because the thing is that when you will study the history of english literature the things will be dimensions there and he is saying that <clears throat> uh that the prominent writer of this age were uh, was you can say the um, jo- chaucer at uh, himself on john of teversia and john wycliffe basically bache uh, in this uh, basically prose they have changed uh, towards latin and french Be- because uh, within anglo saxon within anglo norman they were not dealing with the english language particularly but within a age of geoffrey chaucer geoffrey chaucer had introduced the english and then he said that why you people are reading bible in latin and french and he has stated that you have to write your uh, a holy book bible in english and the prose was the masterpiece to start the english in bible in english and that was the first uh, thing which was being uh, you can say uh, established and the last one aspect is poetry which we are discussing in this age the age of chaucer saw the birth of english poetry in chaucer's age poetry continued to the flourish and assumed an unparalleled position the most noted poet of this age were chaucer john grover and william langland these are the three prominent writers were in this age who has started and who has dealed with the poetry spencer ah uh, sorry chaucer john gower and the william langland ah uh, spencer became the father of poetic diction as there was no poetic uh, diction before this age now you may keep in your, your mind that the poetic diction father is spencer not chaucer chaucer william lang and the uh, sorry uh, john gower and the william lang land who were they were the three writer who has started english poetry but the uh, you can say the father of poetic diction was spencer there were new forms of poetry like narrative and descriptive poetry that were enhanced during this time period chaucer himself was known for the trenchant and observation he was sociable and loved a uh, mingleable with the people from diverse background as evidence in this work contributory tales yes uh, that is the age which we have discussed and the contributory tales is the main uh, you can say uh, the contribution of geoffrey chaucer in the uh, you can say shape of poetry that's all